Hello. What if you can define your system in a simple spreadsheet, just like this one? Here, I'm going to start off with the menu of my system, simply called WMS for Warehouse Management System. And underneath it, it will automatically generate all my master detail and entity relationship. Here is obvious under the IDMPO warehouse, I will have extended models for dimension, root location, and gate. And under the locators, I'll have new table for storage type, prefer product, and empty storage. And it will have its detail line and so forth. All its columns or properties can be defined with these different data types such as um, quantity and check boxes, pull down list, um, dates, look up under IDs from other foreign models. At the bottom, I'm defining three info windows one for purchasing, one for the delivery schedule, and one for the inbound, outbound for put away and picking. And you will have this extra column set. And then under the code maker, all the ORMs, setters, getters, model, model factories will be generated. And you can just code it for any further logic. And we have standalone processes with these parameters. And under the info windows, we have its respective processes for creating delivery schedule, put away, and handling units. And these are its parameters. So, <clears throat> and I have two processes for the same info window. And I put a two here so that it, it does not get overwritten. Not just that, for the Excel, you can use it for inputting data. Or, and it is very convenient to use it with the customer and discuss with them what kind of data set or model design that you can begin to customize. Here is one where storage types in the warehouse is being defined here. They will be injected into the system. And I give an example why Excel is such powerful. Uh, let's say the customer want you to define all your labels as a running number beginning with P and he's using pallets. His capacity is 10 units each. So, just anybody will know intuitively using Excel, it works like magic. Very fast within a matter of seconds. You have it and with the Ninja plugin, it will then use its CSVs and it will be imported right away. I already exported the CSVs here <clears throat> and uh, I've zipped them up for working on the Ninja plugin. So, first we zip up the core, which is the header, model, and code. And then the data is that gate type and handling for the MS data. Let's get to your fresh item here. You can see there's no WMS or info windows that's been created. Log into the system admin. And we begin to attach. So you're starting really from scratch. Pull out the or to designer, call it up, go to a blank instance, attach the definition for all the models under WMS Ninja. Very small file, but it will populate the design and just refresh you see all this coming out all the models I say it under the code for the last two info windows 
I put a two so you will not overwritten with the first one and you'll do this on the second round first let's let it do its magic you will see under the prompt um, the whole model that is being generated the metadata the application dictionary windows menus table field columns properties synchronized with the database look up for an IDs everything been sorted out by the code automatically and finally uh, program stops will be created under your plugin so you have to define your plugin exactly the location here and the code will as you see here is generated and when you open up your plugin is all there right and uh, you create a stop for you but you then have to put in your logic and I've done that let me save that and I'm going to show you how I generate locators I've done the logic too so let's run the second info window which I have taken out mm. with this here and let's do it again okay both should be in and I've got one final thing to do, which is the process for uh, create a delivery schedule. I'm gonna make sure that it has a time tata type on the date promise. These are little snacks you do, but you can see there's not much else to do and everything has been properly defined. So date time is there. Now let me change into my client admin and remember we have the data to import so let's wait for it to come up module designer again you see that the info windows are being generated here and uh, if you were to call up the warehouse you will see that those sub tables are being created and let's go to a particular one which we have data to be imported shortly and uh, you see if you call up the locators you will have under the locators storage type prefer product and empty storage and at the moment there's only a default locator and there's no gate but that was soon change when we import in that data just now the second zip file here so just run the import in and take a few more seconds yes and now if you were to refresh the gate has been imported <coughs> and the handling unit the 499 tags or pallets P01 right up to P499 here they are very fast now <clears throat> we're going to populate the locators right. yep generate locators <clears throat> I want to generate um, locators for all warehouses I want to have a um, 4 owl um, 3 beans before being and it is a two level so it will take a few seconds for it to generate and then you'll see under the locators they will all be populated there you are 352 locators for a very large warehouse so you come here refresh yeah it's all been done now lastly we will try out the new info windows which assess the purchasing and you can select your vendors just refresh it select and your delivery schedule 
this is according to what I've been defined and we've got code there and let's say I want it on a Friday send at 11 a.m. it's completed successfully and if you go to your next delivery schedule line there you are this other fresh one and then you can create a uh, put away list when they arrive and let's look at that window the last one that has two processors here they are okay so I've yet to create code for it but now you see your life is much easier because all you have to do is just think of the logic think of your design communicate with the client very transparently and ERP that usually fails due to complexity can now be made very simple. Have a great day. Bye.